Epictetus, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, once said, It is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Imagine wielding this wisdom like a shield against the world's chaos, especially when dealing with a narcissist and difficult people. Whether it's a boss who loves to belittle, a family member who thrives on drama, or anyone who seems to drain your spirit dry. Stoicism holds the key. The Stoics had this secret weapon not just for survival, but to stand tall and unshaken amidst the storm. This isn't about fighting fire with fire. It's about equipping yourself with mental armor to turning the Stoic wisdom into a shield against the negativity narcissists love to spread. Today we're not just covering old ground, we're applying ancient Stoic strategies to modern-day giants. This video is your guide for not just enduring, but thriving around narcissists using Stoicism to navigate through the emotional minefields they plant. Imagine transforming their attempts to unsettle you into opportunities for your personal growth and peace. If you're ready to claim a life marked by serenity and strength, no matter the chaos around you, let's dive into these stoic principles together. By understanding and applying these four key strategies, you'll not only protect your peace, but also cultivate a resilience that no narcissist can penetrate. My one request is that you do not skip this video in any way by choosing to be here. You've already set yourself apart from the crowd. You're not here by accident. You're here to make a change now. Let's make it happen. Number one, minimize the narcissist's role in your life. Shrinking the narcissist's space in your life isn't about ignoring them with the hope they disappear. It's about reclaiming your energy and directing it towards what truly enriches you. Picture your mind as a garden. Would you rather water the weeds or the flowers? Every moment spent ruminating on their actions or words is a moment lost from nurturing your passions, your dreams, and your joy. Decide to water the flowers. This shift doesn't happen overnight, but with each conscious choice to focus on your growth rather than their drama, you're laying down a path towards a healthier, vibrant self. Creating boundaries isn't just a defensive act, it's a profound statement of self-respect. Think of it as setting rules in a game where you're both the player and the referee. You determine what's allowed in your space and what's not. If the narcissist tries to cross these lines, calmly but firmly remind them of your boundaries. This isn't about confrontation, but about honoring your well-being. Sometimes this might mean stepping away from situations that drain you or saying no more often. It's not selfish, it's necessary. This process teaches you and those around you that your peace isn't up for negotiation. Consider this, every snide remark, every manipulative tactic from a narcissist is like a pebble in your shoe. Annoying, absolutely but you have the choice to keep walking with the discomfort or to stop and shake it out. By consciously choosing to minimize their impact, you're not ignoring the problem. You're approaching it with tactical precision. Seneca once said, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This reminds us that the distress we feel from dealing with a narcissist can be amplified by our fears and expectations. Recognizing this, we can choose to focus on what is within our control, our reactions, and our emotional well-being. As you journey through this, remember the strength lies not in the loudness of your actions, but the steadiness of your resolve. Letting go of the need to control or change the narcissist frees up so much space in your life for what truly matters. It's about investing in relationships that uplift you activities that fulfill you, and personal growth that empowers you. This isn't just about minimizing a negative influence, it's about maximizing your own potential. Your peace, happiness and growth are your priorities, 
and you're the only one who can truly safeguard them. Embrace this path with courage and clarity, knowing that every step taken is a step towards a more resilient, fulfilled you. Number two, challenge their idealized self. Peeling back the layers of someone's exaggerated self-image, especially a narcissist, requires a delicate touch. It's a subtle art, really. Imagine you're a detective in a world where questions are your most powerful tool. You're not there to accuse, you're there to uncover the truth. By simply asking questions like, how did you arrive at that conclusion? You're doing more than seeking answers. You're inviting them to a stage where the spotlight suddenly turns in perspective. This isn't about doubting their capabilities or achievements, but encouraging a moment of genuine self-reflection. It's a practice that, when done with curiosity and without judgment, can lead to profound insights, not just for them, but for you too. Diving deeper, remember the stoic essence of focusing on what's within our control. You can't change a person, but you can change how you interact with them. When the narcissist starts their usual parade of self-adulation, instead of rolling your eyes or getting frustrated, see it as a chance to practice patience and understanding. This approach doesn't mean you're giving in. It means you're choosing your battles wisely. Engaging with their stories through thoughtful inquiries puts the ball in their court without you having to play the game on their terms. It's about maintaining your peace, your inner fortress against the siege of their ego. Adopting a stance of detached curiosity is your shield. It's not about dimming their shine, but about not letting it blind you. By questioning their narratives gently, you're not just poking holes in their inflated self-image, you're also reinforcing your own resilience. This method isn't a direct challenge to their ego, but a way to navigate through their illusions with grace. And in this dance of diplomacy and insight, you find a path to tranquility. You're not just surviving the interaction, you're thriving by transforming it into an opportunity for growth for both of you. This is the essence of true wisdom, knowing how to inspire change through reflection, not resistance. Remember, the goal isn't to change the narcissist. That's a Herculean task beyond most mortal means, but to shift how their narrative influences your world. This subtle yet impactful strategy is rooted in the stoic practice of prasash, the art of attentive awareness. Through this lens, every interaction becomes an opportunity for growth, reflection, and maintaining your inner peace. You're not just defending your tranquility, you're offering a beacon for those lost in their own illusions. This approach doesn't just diminish their power over your emotions, it illuminates a path toward mutual understanding and possibly their own self-discovery. Number three, pursue personal growth through therapy. Facing a narcissist can feel like being trapped in a never-ending cycle of emotional turmoil. Yet, the real game-changer lies not in confrontation, but in turning the focus inward where your true power resides. Engage in therapy, a move that might seem quiet but is profoundly revolutionary. It's about harnessing your courage to dig deep and shine a light on those dark corners of yourself that you've shied away from. Therapy is your battleground where you don't fight against someone else, but stand up for your inner peace. It's where you learn that the quest for external validation is a mirage in the desert of self-doubt. Harnessing the courage to embark on therapy is like unlocking a hidden door to personal growth. It's not about changing others, especially not the narcissist, whose actions you cannot control. Instead, focus shifts to the only terrain you truly govern, your inner landscape. Seneca once mused, not in these exact words, but in essence, about the power lying not in possessing everything, but in valuing what we have and using it wisely. This wisdom guides us through therapy, Recognizing our current struggles as temporary challenges 
enlightens the path of self-improvement. It's a bold move demanding the bravery to face our vulnerabilities and transform them into strength. It's a process of unlearning the beliefs that chain us to toxic cycles and rediscovering autonomy. Here we craft our narrative not as a tale told by someone else, but as our own story, defined by our values, passions and joys. It's about building a fortress of self-worth that no external force can penetrate, a testament to our resilience and the transformative power of self-reflection. Embarking on this path of therapy and self-discovery, we declare our independence from the narratives imposed upon us. We become architects of our fate, shaping a life that resonates with our deepest truths. This journey is filled with hope, a beacon that guides us back to our authentic selves, vibrant and undimmed by the trials we face. Through the lens of therapy, we embrace the stoic principle that our greatest freedom lies within the freedom to choose our response, to cultivate inner peace, and to live a life that echoes our truest self. This path is a bold affirmation of our capacity to heal, grow, and thrive, regardless of the challenges that lie ahead. If you have learned anything of value so far, leave a thumbs up to show your support. Now, let's discuss the next strategy. Number four, protect your mental space by controlling your reactions. Guarding your mental space against the narcissist's chaos is akin to mastering the art of calm in a storm. They thrive on triggering a reaction. Seeing you lose control gives them a sense of power. But here's your secret weapon. Choose how you respond. Marcus Aurelius once said, Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. Don't feel harmed, and you haven't been. Embody this as you face the onslaught, choosing your response and preserving your peace. Picture this for a moment. They are throwing their best curveballs, provocations, manipulations, the whole nine yards. But here you are, standing firm, not swayed by the storm. It's like watching waves crash against the cliff. You acknowledge their presence, but they don't get to erode your peace. This is the essence of controlling your reactions. It's not about bottling up your feelings or pretending they don't exist. It's about recognizing those emotions, giving yourself a moment to step back and deciding not to give them the satisfaction of seeing you ruffled. Imagine being the calm eye of a hurricane, unshaken, while everything works chaotically around you. That's the strength of controlling your reactions. This strategy is akin to being a chess master in a world that doesn't stop spinning. When a narcissist tries to checkmate you with drama, you pivot, choosing your moves with precision. It's about breathing space into that moment between action and reaction. You find your strength not in the immediate clapback, but in the silent pause that says, I see you, but I don't play by your rules. This pause is your fortress, your moment of clarity. It's where you decide that your peace is too precious to be disturbed by someone else's chaos. So, how do you make this your reality? Practice mindfulness and a dash of stubbornness. Embrace the stoic exercise of reflection, not just as a task, but as a ritual. Let it be your daily rebellion against the noise. By choosing to respond with calmness and detachment, you're not just protecting your mental space, you're elevating it. You're proving that the only person who controls your inner world is you. And that's not just powerful, it's liberating. Stepping into our power means recognizing that the chaos outside cannot shake the calm within. Today, we've navigated through tactics that not only help you understand the narcissist's playbook, but also arm you with the resilience to counteract their efforts to disrupt your peace. Like a tree standing firm in the storm, your roots are deep in self-awareness and strength, unmovable by the winds of manipulation. Your journey towards maintaining tranquility amidst turmoil is not just about surviving, 
it's about thriving. By applying these principles, you're setting the stage for a life where your inner peace is non-negotiable, a testament to your growth and wisdom. As we reflect on our journey today, remember to carry these lessons forward and apply them in your daily lives. If this message resonated with you, please like and share this video with someone in your circle who might be facing similar challenges. Comment below with my peace is not up for negotiation to affirm your commitment to steering your own ship. Your engagement helps us reach more individuals seeking clarity and strength. Subscribe for more content that delves beyond the surface and explores the essence of personal empowerment. Disregard the playlist suggestions on your screen for additional insights on standing tall and unwavering in the face of adversity. Remember, the journey to self-mastery is continuous, but every step forward is progress toward a more resilient and peaceful you. Stay resilient until next time.